We're just a couple hours away from the anniversary of the deadliest mass shooting in American history, the Pulse nightclub massacre. This weekend, people plan to do good on this dark tragedy in honor of all of the victims. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales is live right now at One Blood in St. Pete, one of dozens of blood drives happening today. Good morning, Isabel. Good morning, ladies. Now, people's generosity during times of tragedy can truly be an amazing thing. You guys might remember those images of thousands of people lining up to give blood. Well, this weekend, we're hoping to get a similar impact. I'm joined here by Dan Eberts with One Blood. And Dan, what are you guys doing this year? Well, we're honoring the victims of Pulse by hosting Remembrance Blood Drives all weekend long. All of our donor centers throughout Tampa Bay and a few special drives were at the Rays this afternoon, for example. And it's, it's a reminder that blood that was on the shelf saved lives. There were 441 units of blood used that first day, treating the 36 injured people who needed blood to stay alive. Donors and doctors saved their lives. And how are we doing this year in terms of, of your bank blood supply? We're holding our own. It's summertime and we continue to need blood every day, uh, but we're pleased to say our donors are coming out and helping to make sure that the gift of life is available. Okay, so lots and lots of blood sent out to Orlando last year. Yes, we stocked uh, the shelves in, in Florida Hospital from all out of our depots. One of the advantages of One Blood is we're large and we have a lot of uh, locations and, and, and blood supply to meet the needs. Uh, surgeries, accidents, and the treatment of diseases use blood every day, and that trauma uh, created a huge uh, need that we fulfilled. Okay, Dan. Uh, now, a hot button topic here mm -hmm. eligibility. Pulse nightclub, gay nightclub. Can gay men donate blood? The Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, regulates all blood centers throughout the United States. And they had a lifetime deferral on men having sex with men. It's been changed to a one-year deferral. That's the current policy. And One Blood is participating in some studies to determine evaluating by individual risks. Uh, there's lots of deferrals for safety of the blood supply at all times. You go on a cruise, uh, you, you're deferred for a year because you might have gotten bit by mosquito carrying malaria. So it's all about safety of donors and safety of the blood supply. But you guys are doing some research into seeing, uh, seeking uh, individual risk factors. Oh, we are, and it's totally up to the FDA to define standards for all blood centers throughout the United States. Okay, Dan, thank you so much, guys. I'm going to post out some of the locations. There's a ton here in the Tampa Bay area. I'm going to put that up on my Twitter page. Live in St. Pete, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.